Hey guys, what's going on? It's BG and we're doing a shop card shout out, uh, mail call and kind of like a mini little stash ad video because we did get a couple of cool things. But more importantly, we got some folks in the community that sent us some really cool stuff. So we wanted to share that with you all. And um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. I was floored. Absolutely floored. So uh, yeah. uh, words are now just coming back to me. So we wanted to share this all with you guys. So stick around. We'll get right to that after this. Okay, first up, shop cards. We got this from our buddy Paul over at Left Coast Model Car Builds. I always say this channel name wrong. I am so sorry, Paul. I always say it wrong. I always say Left Coast Customs. I think that was actually a channel that built cars. I'm not 100% sure, but I, I do apologize about that. Now, Paul is also the uh, patriarch of the uh, Coast to Coast Model Car Club. Uh, something that we happen to be part of, along with several other friends in the community. Great group of guys. There's a text group that we're all part of. And oh my goodness, the, the information that flows is just overwhelming, but in a good way. So thank you again, Paul, for inviting us to do the the, uh, the car club. Appreciate that very much. And we are hoping to see Paul when we get a chance to go to NNL West in January for the final show. Always like hanging out with him. Uh, him and his family are very, very cool. Uh, his kids are super sweet. Just love hanging out with them. So hopefully we get a chance to spend more time with them this coming uh, this coming winter. Because, boy, I tell you what, summer is done. I'm done with summer here. But I like this collage effect here where he's kind of got a little bit of everything going on in the last year or so. And he's just sort of celebrating it all with this. It's is a lot better than one of those letters you get at Christmas time, letting everybody know what they did over the over the, over the year. Uh, also, he sent us this little uh, business card size one. This is a great idea. I do have business cards from my partic particular channel, and um, I like to hand those out when we go to shows or maybe hobby shop, something like that. Just make you know, ask if you can leave a stack or something like that. But uh, I do like to have the business cards because they're easier to carry around and hand out at shows. So that's really awesome. And now we have a sticker. Ooh, I like stickers. Like stickers a lot. This is going to go on the Toolbox of Fame. Thank you so much, Paul. Uh, you know what we like and we know what we love. So there we go. Also, we didn't just get the the, uh, the wonderful shop card and sticker. We also got a um, coffee mug. But that's not all. We got another coffee mug. Yay, coffee mugs. So now... Now I feel obligated to join in on the uh, cars and coffee videos that he has been doing. Uh, a lot of people in the community have been uh, jumping in on that, so I might as well uh, bandwagon as well. But look at that. They've got the shop card on there. That's really cool. It's a double-sided. No, this is a single. So you can advertise to your friends or just have a nice friendly reminder, depending on which hand you used for your coffee drinking. And then, of course, this one here. Nice looking YouTube logo. If it wasn't for YouTube, we all wouldn't know each other. And then, of course, the really cool looking logo there. And I, I really like this logo because it has the uh, the Gulf Will colors in there. So that's a winner. Oh, this is a double. Yay, doubles. So thanks again, buddy. Appreciate that. And we are big time coffee drinkers here, so they will get plenty of usage. Now on to the next bit. So our good buddy, Dan the Man over at 60's Rule, gifted us something that he had found in his... Um, in his archives, I guess is the best way to say that. And check this out. Look at this here. He found this... Um, magazine article for the Corvair. This is for 1967. And um, I love this body style. I'm a fan of both body styles, the early and the late. This one's known as the late body style. Uh, this, I'm more partial to this one. Um, I've actually had more of these <laughs> than I had of the early. But uh, I just was floored. It showed up in the mail. I wasn't expecting this. I was like, what did Dan send me? This is huge. So open it up, and of course inside is this guy here, and a very lovely note that he had found this magazine ad, had it um, a frame on hand, framed it up and sent it over, uh, knowing that we are huge Corvair fans. I'm trying to hold this so that the light glare doesn't obliterate it. But um, yeah, we are, of course, everybody knows we're huge Corvair fans. As a matter of fact, I even have like, uh, I, th I think I said nine Corvairs in the stash. It's actually eight. I miscounted somehow. Maybe somebody swiped one. I'm not sure, but um, I'm down to eight. I'm down to eight for whatever reason. But uh, I do have a couple of resin bodies that I want to actually use for uh, other, you know, 
uh, let's see, there's like a station wagon and the El Camino style, the custom, custom done stuff. So I want to do work with those things. But it's so awesome that you guys out there that, that, that know us and know us really well know that we appreciate the heck out of this. And I am going to figure out someplace on these walls to, uh, to actually place this guy, maybe right up over here where I can look at it every once in a while and just think of the fact that uh, I have a, a living connection through this car to my father, my grandfather, several of my uncles. And now I have this awesome connection to our buddy Dan. So thank you so much for that, Dan. We, I'm actually getting a little choked up just talking about this. But um, this wasn't all that he sent us, though. He also sent us this little guy. Check that out. This is a Genko Stinger. This is the race car version of the, uh, of the Corvairs. And uh, Yankos are very, very rare, highly sought after cars. And um, there are a lot of clones out there. You can build your own Yanko style car. But this one, um, this is a classic color scheme. But check this out. Look at that. It's got the Gulf Oil on the headlights. You guys know I like the Gulf Oil on the Corvairs. This is definitely chocolate and peanut butter going together. This is just sweet. So thank you so much, Dan. Uh, also, your note that you sent us, we're going to put that in the binder of fame. We do have a special section for all the little notes that folks send us or notes that come with something that we get sent. So uh, one day I'll be able to look back on all that stuff and think about all the cool things that we did on YouTube and all the great people we know. Look at all different liveries on here. That's kind of cool. But uh, yeah, thank you so much, my friend. Oh, and also those are some of my favorite style wheels. I've always wanted a, a set of those for my Corvair. But um, as luck would have it, those wheels actually cost more than most of the Corvairs I ever owned. So, <laughs> so there you go. And uh, next up, something that we want to share with you, uh, something we were gifted by a very good friend. His name is Tim Ryan, and he is a good buddy of not just mine, but also of Blue Ox, Jason. Uh, they are both in the Classic Car Modeling Club uh, in, the in the Pacific, the, the northeastern area of the United States. And uh, Tim had built this years ago. This is a resin uh, kit from, oh my gosh, I can't remember the name. I'll put it down here at the bottom of the screen. I cannot remember the guy's name, but he does the license plates. You can buy them custom license plates on uh, on, on eBay. Uh, but um, so he was selling these kits. And I actually have one of these kits in the stash. And I was just floored to see that Tim had done such a great job. This is known as a ramp side pickup because... This actual, this is actually a door here that drops down. Very cool, uh, really clever. Engines in the back. There's an access panel there for for getting to the engine. Actually, it's right here for getting to the engine from the top. And then around the back side is a little door that pops down that you can do um, basic <laughs> maintenance to. But you, uh, a tall guy like me, was never going to get anything done through that. It was always down through the top. Uh, but uh, this is uh, the body's all one one solid piece. I don't know where the body got cast from. Uh, speculations um, uh, tend to agree that this might have been a die cast that might have been casted up or something like that. But who knows? I don't. I don't really care. I think this is an awesome piece. I love the fact that that this got this classic color scheme on here because I was actually toying with the idea of doing this exact color scheme on the one that I have. Which is great because now I get to build mine in a different color scheme. And uh, when I do build mine. It will have a decal on the side here, uh, representing uh, both me and my father and our deep love for these cars. And uh, I think my dad would have really appreciated something like this. So we're going to get a nice little case for this guy and, and put this in a, a place of honor. So we want to say thank you very, very much to our good friend Tim Ryan for gifting us that. We picked it up when we were on our vacation up there in uh, New England. Uh, but we hadn't had a chance to sit down and actually talk about it until now. And now that we got this really cool Corvair stuff coming to us, this was the perfect opportunity to do that. Okay, so now on to some stash ads. Alrighty, so our good friend over at Hobby Depot, our friend Dick, is uh, was having a sale for 4th of July. And the deal was 15% off anything that has box art that consists of red, white, and blue. So we went looking around and we found this. And according to him, it qualified because there's the red, there's the white, and there's the blue. He said he kept it intentionally vague so he couldn't say no to anybody who wanted to use the sale. So I, I was very, very happy to score this guy. Had my eye on it for forever. 
uh, ever since it first came out, like well over a year ago, maybe even longer. But uh, yeah, Razor Crest, um, can't wait to uh, to actually get a chance to build this guy. Beautiful box art on the back. Look at that. Look at that. I swear, the guys who designed this for the TV show might have been, I'm guessing, I'm just taking a wild poke at this, but they might have been Firefly fans. <laughs> I'll let you draw your own conclusions to that. But look at this, it's over 13 inches long. Dang. So yeah, I can't wait to do this. Uh, there's also a, a little tiny Mandalorian and uh, Grogu, or slash Baby Yoda, depending on uh, how you want to go about doing that. But uh, yeah, beautiful kit. I've seen so many people build this uh, on the internet there. And I'm uh, looking forward to doing one of these myself. And then from our good friend Dan Doan, uh, he knows that we're Matador fans and we had been picking up vintage Matador kits. So he offered us this guy. I was like, oh yeah, okay, cool. I'll, I will definitely take that. So we worked out a price and I was like, okay, cool. So when he showed up to deliver this, he was like, yep, I got that one. And uh, I also got this one. And I'm like, okay. And he was like, cool. All right, you like that? I'm like, yeah. He goes, I also got this one. I'm like, sweet. I don't know which one I want. He goes, how about you take all three of them? So I was like, handshake. Okay. Putting those in the trunk of the car and uh, came home very happy with, with three of these guys. And um, Dan says that we can uh, we can build any one we want um, as long as we do one of them actually in the uh, the box art style. So that's going to be okay. But I'm um, I just so so astounded by by the generosity of everybody we know out there uh, in the model car world. But uh, but Jeepers Creepers, I've got um, three, four, five oh, 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 uh, Matador kits now. So that is awesome. I don't think I can build one of them stock, though. <laughs> but uh, any at any rate, I, I'm just so tickled to, 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 to have these kits in the collection now. So thank you, Dan. We appreciate that immensely. And we'll also appreciate the time spent with you at the hobby store, too. So, all right, guys. That's going to do it for us. Uh, we're going to go take care of uh, some family business and then um, try to enjoy the weekend. So I hope you do, too. Get some bench time in if you can. If it's not too hot outside, enjoy the sun, but please be safe. Drink plenty of liquids. Do that whole skincare thing so we, uh, we know you'll stick around for much longer. And uh, we'll talk to you all in the next one. Bye! I should do all three of them in exactly the same race color scheme. See, this one's got the 16 on Yeah, I should do all three of <laughs> them. That would be fun. Uh, that would probably really trip out Dan. I'm, I'm sure I'm going to get an email after this video.